Let's talk about insulin resistance. This occurs when the body doesn't respond well to insulin. So we consume food that is broken down into sugar, such as pastas, bread, tortillas, rice, and more. The food goes through our GI tract where nutrients and water are absorbed. The rest is waste and excreted when you use the restroom. Your pancreas is a vital organ in regulating blood sugar by releasing insulin into the bloodstream to help decrease excess amounts of sugar consumed. So how does insulin work? In a normal setting, insulin is the key that unlocks the glucose channel. Once opened, glucose is able to enter the cell. When it doesn't, you get a buildup of glucose in your bloodstream, which leads to excess weight gain around the abdomen. Take a look at my community tab for symptoms of diabetes. So you'll see your PCP, your provider will order some blood tests with a random glucose test in the office. Anything greater than or equal to 200 milligrams per deciliter is criteria for diabetes. According to the American Diabetes Association, criteria for diagnosing diabetes includes fasting glucose greater than or equal to 126 milligrams per deciliter and hemoglobin A1C greater than or equal to 6.5%. So lifestyle modification are key and having a consultation with a nutritionist early on is helpful. Also losing a modest amount of weight and being physically active most days of the week will greatly improve your outcome. After all, you wanna be in control with the guidance of your PCP in keeping you safe and managing your care. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.